okay guys you welcome back to my channel once again guys today in this video so we are looking into the google my business and then we are looking into the completion of everything today so um yeah today we did a video that described to us how you guys can verify google my business you know by just doing some stuff so um you guys might be thinking like okay you know this guy is speaking every day on the youtube channel trying to motivate us about google my business trying to tell us the time to tell us that does this guy even have a verified google my business that we are we're all looking for yes i do have a verify google my business provide and then whenever i verify my business on the google my business like this i went over to fiverr or upwork or any place like that even to facebook or some social media to sell it to client uh, in the united states or anybody who is in need of it so once i created like that i just sell it to people in need although some of the time i will have to make some edit that's why that if, if you look at this up uh, these um emails over here you see that i have a lot of suspended uh business as you can see this is a verified one and i have a lot of suspended one the main reason was that uh if i try to sell this to uh, people out there and i try to change maybe the addresses or the name so google suspended it like that and then it was uh, so difficult maybe to find something to be able to reinstate it back so that is how um most of the business got suspended but out of this 90 i think i i i prefer the one and 30 business and um it's only left with 90 business right here. so um what I, I, we are going to do today is that um firstly we're going to try to reinstate one of these business to be double sure of um, what we're doing and the next thing is that we're going to the google map today to be able to do um some trick about verifying a business right from the google map it is very simple guys and then all you have to do for you is just for you to stay to the end okay watch this video to the end to understand Alright guys and welcome back to my channel once again like i said earlier in this video we'll be looking into how to verify your business right from the google map and as well we'll be looking into the, the, the instead of a business from the um google my business as you see that we have a lot of business over here now that have been suspended by the google my business and then we are looking into the reinstate of them so how do we go about the reinstate it is very simple and it's something that you guys have known before um you know it is um maybe some way like okay you click on the on the you know you click on the um use the form then you fill out the form and then you um send it to them but guys what i want you to know that this is much more than that if you want to reinstate a business on the google map it is much more than just filling a couple of form and then sending it to them and then you expect them to reinstate it although those magic work some of the time maybe let's say by the year 2020 you know some people if you want to um, uh, reinstate uh, you know google my business it is just very uh, simple you know you just go down there and then click on you know something like this learn more button we, we click on this learn more then over there we, we we fill out some form and then from there we expect that google should should reply with positive response and should be able to reinstate our business but what i want to tell you guys is that this is much more than that and if you're trying to reinstate your business the first time that you attempt to reinstate the business is very important because google because google will take this as they are uh, the facts about your business because if you are trying to reinstate it the second time they will they, 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 they will try to, to warn you that you have re reinstated the business for once uh, before so the first time is very uh, uh important and then if if you have any suspended business for you to be double sure of what you're doing try to contact some professional maybe on fiverr or upwork to be able to help you to reinstate your business as some because if the first one fail there is no um there, there is nothing like uh going forward or should i say the probability of you getting be reinstated back is let us say is 70 30 so um what we're gonna do now is that let's just try to reinstate business in the first way that people usually know for those that are didn't know about it it is very simple so this is what you guys do normally if you want to reinstate business you just scroll down over here like this and then you can see something like um use our form down here or something like that you know so and then once you click on that um you will be able to fill out some form and um from there you'll be able to um uh, send a request a uh, reinstate form like you see this use our form right here this this tab right here so this is what uh, most of us that we used to reinstate the, the business but but after we have sent this or should i say before we did this there is something very important that we need to know about the reinstate business from with um google my business so um because 
if I could remember vividly in the year 2020, if I want to reinstate a business, it is very simple for me. I just come over to this page and then I just, you know, just fill in the information, then type, I, I can just type something like, um, I'm sorry for doing that. Please reinstate my business. And then once and for all, the business will be reinstated. That is dead. But now this is 2022. Google has changed a lot. And then there's so many things that are changed about them. They don't accept that because they are sure that um, there are so many you know spam business on the internet these days and then there are so many businesses that, that are not real that are just meant for list generation so that's the main reason why they are so straight these days to reinstate a business and that's why that most businesses if, if you want to uh, verify most businesses they are eager to send you the address to your uh you know to your personal address rather than sending it to your phone or your email so um over here now let us try to reinstate it right from inside the business which is uh very simple it is that um this is support right here you can even just chat with support and then as for me i have some something that i used to contact the, the support in my email one-on-one -on -one, you know just to speak with them i'm going to be able to live chat with them via my email so once you click on this support down here let me try to indicate it for you guys so this is support right here once you click on the support button down there it's gonna pop up something for you and then maybe it's gonna show somewhere this place and then from there you can fill the information that you are about to fill over here when you click the user form to fill it inside this place and then from there you'll be able to chat with them you know that that, that, that is should i say more perfect um than this because over here if you try to use this support they will ask for your um link on the google map which is literally me uh, as the meaning of that they are going to ask you to send them this link of this address that you are about to use or that you are trying to use so that is very important thing that you need to understand so guys we are done with that i think you guys should be able to fix that on your own now so and then if you are not able to fix it on your own you can just drop a comment in the comment box section i will try to you know to show it case it to you maybe one-on-one -on -one or do the video like this to show it to you guys so right on the google map let us try to uh, verify a business on the google map verifying a business on the google map as its own name some people call it pin drop and some call it drop a pin it is just um you know as easy as that as one two three so if you want to pin drop or if you want to drop pin on the google my business you know um to the google map it is just very simple as you can see this is um a uh, google map of address uh, in lagos and then we have it all around like you know the lagos Agege. we have some supermarkets some uh, you know some hotels over here so how do we do the print drop it is very simple most especially if you are using an android phone that is a standard just maybe you are using an iphone or samsung phone or maybe some other um android or iphone phones like that you could be able to do this easily by just you know if, if it is on the phone i'm i'm just gonna try to press it press it and then add my business on it and then from that place it will be listed right on my business it will be listed right on the business that we've got over here so that is just it so um since we are on the laptop and we are not on phone i will try to um you know try to do something that it will very work you can click on this menu if you click on this menu there's something you will see like you know the contributions your contributions your place i did the map and something like that so over here now we'll be going to the edit the map and then you see add your business so this add your business these are two form of things that you guys need to understand because if you're trying to click on the add your business or uh, sometimes it will it direct you to the uh, previous one that we usually do about uh, you know coming over here to the google my business adding some businesses and then uh, from there we add the address and then blah 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 google will send you another code into your personal address which is not what we want so let us try to click on the edit the, the map if you want to edit the map that means you try to convince google that there is something in in this map that you guys are not knowing that is what we mean by edit the map this is very different for for other stuff that you guys might uh, have known over them so um if you have watched this video to this level then i can guarantee you that you are um you are on your way to become a successful google my business creator which is a very good and i thank you for doing that and do not forget to subscribe to this channel so that you will be able to you know to learn more about to go my business and other stuff like that so guys um without wasting much of our time let me try to click on the i did the map clicking on this will pop up something right on my screen i'm very sorry for um the delay because i think i have a slow network over here so 
I'm going to try to explain with my mouse so that I will not be wasting you guys time, you know. So, once it's pop up, you'll be able to add some ads, add, some, add the business name, the addresses is already filled up. You'll be able to add the, add, add the time, add the um the business name, the address is already fixed because you remember we are on the Google map. So, the address of where you click is already fixed from there. So, from there, you'll be able to just try to you know to write some details about it and then if you have some quality images to provide to google it is very very simple you can just head over to loopnet.com or should i say loop.net that way if you head over to that website then you will be able to you know to um try to um do this to yourself and then from then the the, the loop nets will be able to you'll be able to get some pictures some free pictures from loop net because loop net is an organization that are willing to sell some properties in the united states most especially in the new york like that you know that's a very big city for them to sell so if you just get about to the loop nets you'll be able to get in some information some pictures some exteriors and interior picture and then if you are doing this make sure you get at least two interior picture and then at least two exterior picture for yourself to be able to use in reinstate or creating the google business because this is very 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 uh, good and then if you are using loop net to create a business for yourself make sure you use the address that you see on loop net to create the um, google my business for yourself because um google will be double sure about if because if, if if you get a picture from um loopnet and then the picture is in another address and then you send it to google google will surely get you that this picture is not in the address but if you get the address from loopnet and the image from loopnet then they are the same thing then you are likely let me i can say 70 percent of being verified or being reinstated by the google my business so once we click on that and then when i edit the map you can just try to type your suggestion like okay let's say let me try to say there's something you should know like this on the uh on the on, on the surface like this and then you can just send the capture and then you uh yeah you allow them to email you and then once this is done and then you send it to them you can easily go back you know to your um to, to your surface i mean to where we have clicked the um edit map which is right over here and then try to add our business like this you know i told you guys it's gonna open like this for you to add a business and then once we have our loop net over here we already have the pictures to use and the address to use for them so we just need to use a non-spam category to be able to add it to them and they so that they will be able to send the code right to our phone or our email address so guys this is all i have to show you in my video if this video have helped you please help my career just hit on the red subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is uploaded to you you know guys if you have any comments just drop it in the comment box section i will reply to you i also do any video for you if that is what will help you till we meet guys stay home and stay safe